Hello everybody, happy Thursday, happy, happy Thursday. So today it's just a day in the life and I'll share dinner with you guys. I don't know about lunch yet or not. Um, I might share what Katie and I have. I have Ronnie home today, so I might um, see what she's doing. And a shopping haul is not gonna happen today because Charles and I, for the month of February, because of all the sickness and everything going around, and you guys, I'm not going to lie, that whole corona thing is freaking me out just a little bit, and it is enough that it's freaking him out a little bit, too, and we're not usually the freak out kind of people. Um, well, I am. He's not, and I just don't want to be in stores until some of this just passes by, and we know what's going on with it, so that is the honest to God truth, so... We are going to do a monthly shopping haul for February, and we're just going to go on and go tomorrow. Charles and I are going to have a date. We're going to go to Sam's. We've got a membership for, um, from my mother for Christmas, and we're going to go to Aldi and just kind of make a date night out of it, leave all the kids at home, and then we will have that up for you guys on Friday, on Saturday. Sorry, brain. Luke slept in the bed with us last night, so that kind of night. Um... You guys were also just paranoid about getting sick. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie, we have been sick so much. Somebody asked if I am burnt out. I am burnt out on life at the moment because we have had so much come at us in January. Um, I, so I apologize if I come across as burnt out on YouTube. I'm not burnt out on YouTube. <laughs> if I don't wanna make videos, I wanna make videos. But I am burnt out just on life because we just, we've been hit so hard and if you've been following us you know we have we have had something happen with every one of our cars we have had some major house stuff happening we've had all kinds of expenses happening we've had, been in the hospital twice we literally were sick for over a month I was sick for two months um, we had this, some respiratory virus um, some say RSV you know we don't know exactly what it was but definitely put the boys in the hospital for a little bit so we have just had a rough rough month and we don't want to be sick anymore so that's why we're switching up the grocery shopping um and that's why we'll have that for you on saturday because i'm just paranoid and i just don't want it i don't want any more sickness i can't handle anymore it's like all the weight on your shoulders and then i got dry shampoo on my shoulder all the weight on your shoulders and then phew, you know you snap and stress just does that stress snaps you so i just don't want anymore so there you have it really long story but shopping this month is only gonna happen uh we'll go tomorrow all right so let's just start this crazy day in life i got a little bit more straightening up to do and then we are going to um I think play a game, eat some lunch, and then start some lunch, uh, pickups. I have Ronnie home with me today. Ronnie, Kate, Theo, and Luke. That's who my crew that's home right now. This is Tommy. Hi, everybody. Tommy needs some sewing and love. He's got a hole. Tommy has been restuffed a very long time. Tommy has been on many trips. Tommy has played in the sandbox many times. Tommy one day will have to be replaced. But Luke slept in our bed with us, so of course Tommy did too. And this is Luke's best friend. He calls him his best friend. He takes him everywhere, especially if he's tired. It's a security blanket. So I thought I'd let you guys meet Tommy. What you putting in? Batman pillows. <laughs> Charles is a Batman nut. Most of the pillows you guys see on our bed come from the kids for Christmas gifts. So you have two Batman pillows, but I turn them this way. So still have a flower bed. Batman pillows. Are all in vain. Pick you up when you've lost every 
everything. Another favorite pillow. I love you to the moon and back. Look, little Theo. <laughs> Kate made this, had this made for us for Christmas. Granted with a wedding. I don't know how the laundry works at your house, but at our house how it works is you see me kind of just sorting them into piles. I don't fold everybody's clothes. I don't put everybody's clothes away. I sort them into piles. Everybody can come then and grab their pile of clothes and then it is their job to go fold it and put it away. And if everybody is home, then I have everybody help me. Um, usually sort the clothes but sometimes that is much more commotion than me to just quickly sort everybody into their piles call everybody in to come grab their pile and then they take it out of my room into their room this is one of the things I hate about not having like a real laundry room we just have a laundry closet um, but this is how I do laundry for right now and this system works pretty good for us throw together dinner I've got this big bag of boneless uh, skinless chicken breast and I'm just gonna make a big pot of it so that I can turn it into other stuff wash machine going this is like my days are always crazy but I am gonna make a Mississippi chicken instead of Mississippi pot roast and then I'll just make some mashed potatoes and stuff for tonight and then tomorrow leftovers can be thrown over noodles which will be super fast and easy since we're gonna be gone shopping so all you need is a ranch packet and a chicken gravy packet chicken gravy that's it a stick of butter peppuccini peppers and it's ready to go looking for a reason driven by That's it, it's that easy. That's gonna be dinner. <laughs> and we are about to eat some lunch real quick. I'm gonna just eat the same thing I ate yesterday, my Chinese noodles. Um, I think Ronnie was having some pizza. I don't know what Kate's doing yet. Jake had some noodles. And Luke and Theo, I think are having pizza. So that's it, that's our lunch. And in case, for some reason, you missed yesterday's video, show you how I make these amazing noodles, and that's what I'm having for lunch. All right, one of the things that we want to do is make some bird feeders for kids with our little dead pine cones from the backyard. So they're going to make, I see the bird food, baby, they're going to make some pine cone bird feeders, Luke and Theo.
So here is our bird feeders. I think they turn out great. And then this is the leftover bird seed. We're gonna go on and put that out there too. We're gonna go hang these on the trees. Seeds for the birds, yes. Now I'm going about a replica of flower from the FDI, which is a robot flower from the FDI. I see. Did the birds eat your, your seeds? Yeah. Milestone. I'm going to court. What milestone did you hit? What milestone did you hit? Did you hit your 15 person milestone? You hit 150 subscribers? Oh yeah! And it's my job to clean a video. It's your job, it's your to, create job video. to create videos? <laughs> well, you're very good at it. What kind of video are you going to create hey, next? Liz. I'm going to There you have it guys. He is making a special video because he hit 150 subscribers. So he's so excited. I said, darn, I should have my camera because he hollered, 150 subscribers? I hit my milestone. Yeah, I am. He was so excited. Milestone. Yes, you did. <laughs> You're standing still. See, you're not moving. Oops! He's Freeze. rocking out to his first milestone. <laughs> Here we got. All right, now. <laughs> okay, now it's time to start dinner. I've been dreaming so much lately about your face when you're smiling. It's the only thing that saves me. Mm -mm. Hey, I don't know if I told you that I think you're beautiful and how oh, I can't wait to hold you. Yeah, you pull me up when I'm falling down and I don't know what I would do without you. Yeah, you pull me up when I'm falling down. Just want more. Tell me what you want to do right now. Tell me what you want to do tonight. I really don't care as long as I'm with you. Hey, now look into my eyes. You can use them as a mirror, baby. You're my ticket. 
Let me show you dinner real quick. We have the mashed potatoes, some brown sugar carrots, cranberry sauce, peas, and then the chicken. All right, so I'm gonna read the question, and if you want to see everybody answer it, and then stick around, because I'm gonna put up the camera, and we'll answer it at the table while we do dinner. Would you rather travel into space see the Super Bowl, or be president for one day? You'll hear our answers at the table. Space hands down, just saying. All right, we love y'all, and if you're checking out now, good night, we'll see you tomorrow, and if you're sticking around and see what everybody says, then we'll see you in just a minute. I didn't do it. Call the children. Ticket to paradise. Hey, now I'm looking to my them as a mirror baby you're my ticket to paradise hey now everything's all right we've been longing for each other this is in father's son this is in father's son and he's like this 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 and he's
<laughs> baby bum on every TV in the White House. <laughs> All right, Ron, go for it. What would you be? It would be a I'd be president, and I, when I when the day is almost over, I take all the money with me, and then keep all the money. I'm right here. I need to know your answer. Would you rather go to space or be the president for a day? I or watch I'd rather go to space. What would you do in space? I would build a robot flower. <laughs> I would what? Build a robot flower. Return it to Earth. <laughs> Return to Earth. <laughs> Okay, I thought I would share real quick. These wild things here are all making a smoothie. But this is what's left of dinner, you guys. Ah, oh, there's wetness. There is no chicken. Tiny bit of peas and carrots. No cranberry sauce and no mashed potatoes. So as far as having leftovers for them to have for dinner last night, or tomorrow night, and to just throw in some noodles, it's not happening. So we're probably gonna just like pick them up a pizza. I'm hoping Sam's has like big pizzas like Costco does. And we'll just bring home like a pizza for them tomorrow night. But we'll catch all that for you guys and show you on Saturday. All right, I hope you guys liked being a fly on the wall. And, ready to say goodbye? He got a new toy, so he's excited. Well, Can I show? I didn't really get a new toy. Well, anything is a toy to you. This is a Ion air purifier. I told y'all we love air purifiers. No, we're not sponsored. Yep. This is not given to us. We bought it. Um, this should help. Take it away, dear. What is this going to help? It helps kill the germs, right? Mm -hmm. So I used to have one. It died a long time ago. And I also had one in the heating unit, but um, these are all the UVC lights, so that will pull all the air through and kill all these germs the kids are bringing home. So this will go in their bedrooms. Told y'all, we're paranoid. <laughs> now I prefer to use the word cautious. We are paranoid, not about a specific virus or anything, just about getting sick again. Period. Still, we just flu symptoms are going around. They just had the whooping cough stuff going around. Now, I explained that in the beginning. I said that's what we're going to do a stock up for the month of February because just, <laughs> just we don't want the sickness again. No, we just don't. All right. Well, this video is way long enough. So, we love y'all and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Or, I'm sorry, we'll see you Saturday. Bye, Friday everybody. Off. Friday off.